Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live where I interact with everyone and answer all the questions in Mr. Popsit Fishing. Also, now we are active with MrPopsit.com. You can get merch to represent your guy. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, this is our Acne Mechanica patient that we talked about in detail which is very common with helmets, football helmets especially. And you can see we've got probably a 60% reduction as we look across the forehead there. He's still got a couple, maybe a couple new ones that refilled. And we're just gonna open those pores and pop the remaining 25 or so out of there. Once we do that a couple times, he's on a good retinoid, which is exfoliating. He's going to get um, some wipes that we can use when we have water break at practice when he goes back to wearing a helmet again. All these things are helpful. And, you know, it's the teenage years, his, his high levels of hormones are feeding the oil production and dead skin that's clogging the pores. But as long as we can clear these pores, get him on a good topical, and he's wiping regularly when he is sweating excessively in practice with something that's kind of grinding in there like a helmet, we should be able to predominantly, you know, for the most part, keep it under control. So a lot of these, you know, clogged pores don't turn into big inflammatory pustules that can then cause permanent scars. So this is all about prevention. That's what we're doing. So we'll get him, he's getting prepped here, and then we'll get started here and clearing some of these remaining pores out for him. But this is just after one session, he has great improvement. This second one should get him close to 100%. As we have them all prepped, we opened up some pores here. And when we have that on the background, we have nice bone there of the forehead. You can see these pop right out. You can use a loop extractor. Just go right through. When we open that pore, we don't have to squeeze real hard to get these pores to clear. And that's why, you know, it doesn't cause any permanent scarring or anything like that. And I always come back and check these to make sure they're nice and clear. You can see all these keratin plugs. And that's just right there. You see it kind of yellow at the top and then a little mushy at the bottom. And that's because it oxidizes when it's exposed to um, the air. So you see those like that. We can come right across here. The smaller ones, sometimes I'll use the uh, Q-tips as well. Is that too bright? Sometimes it whites it out a little bit. I'll take it down. Very good. Got lots of little plugs out there. There, do a finger squeeze sometimes if it doesn't come out first. And a lot of people always ask, is the pore clear? When I come back and we'll finger squeeze, sometimes do the Q-tips, you can see it's just clear fluid at the bottom, which is just oil. Here in the comment section, it's not clear. He didn't clear him. <laughs> you see that all the time. Always makes me laugh. I'm like... I go back and hit these two or three times, but they know looking through the camera. Nice. You can wiggle it a little bit to get that bottom, make sure it comes out. Some areas will be sensitive by the eyebrows and I'll switch to the, uh, Boy, these are filled pores. It's doing great. Not too painful, just a little uncomfortable. Yeah, it's good. Fine. Good, good. Got him. Okay, we'll come over here a little bit. Those are already done. Come down to these guys here. Is it jumping? Sometimes it jumps a little. That's a good one there. You can feel them pop sometimes. Very good. Thank you. 
go. Those inflammatory ones bleed a little bit more. You'll see that sometimes. Get down at the bottom. That's good. Just a little plug. And you can see the extractor is pretty quick. We just go through and you can pull these right, right across these pores and they pop right out. Very minimal trauma to the skin at all too. it so that looks good we got a couple down here on the cheek the sticks here does have a big one right here just white paste there okay. did great Little hair in that one too. Very full pores here, you can see. Okay. Do a little hand squeeze, perfect, that's empty. So that was some pretty full ones right through there. You can see you pull the skin, all those bumps are gone. So that looks great. Got one on the nose here, tricky area. Little plug, just tease that out. Can push against the other cotton swab there. And that pops right out. Do great. Just a little collection here. Sometimes in the meaty part of the cheek, I'll come down and just do a little finger squeeze because it's so deep in there. It's hard to push. It's easier to kind of squeeze it against the other finger pad there. You can see how much comes out of those. That way we're not pushing on the roots of the teeth that are right below there. And you can see, pull that and all those bumps are gone. It comes out really well. It's good too. Perfect. And a couple small blackheads right through there we'll get. I'm just about done. Just a little pocket right there. See, once you open that pore, pops right out, a little hair in there, and then all that keratin. A little plug at the bottom, that's good. Those are the type that can turn into these big inflammatory ones that can cause pigment, sometimes scars, but at least pigment for a while. So you can see how much was in the bottom of that pore, quite a bit. Getting that out is very helpful. Here's another one you'll see, it's a good bit. Little tiny pore, lots of keratin in there. Good plug at the bottom. See right here, same thing. Just roll that out. A little plug. There it is. See, the drier ones are usually yellow. Just like that. Just a little hair follicle on that one. Just make sure we got all the ones on the forehead for you. Yeah, those are all empty. And you can really pull the skin and see if there's a plug in there. You'll see kind of a little bit of white. And you can see we got all of those. I'm looking right down here. There's one. One more here. Right there. Just a little plug. Easily comes out. A little tiny one there. But that's great. So these are pretty much drying up. One last white bump right there. So you can see all that come out. Nice bottom squeeze, two pores right there side by side. No 
the retinoids dry in those little tiny ones up. And keep looking, we find one more. <laughs> Not good to be obsessive compulsive, you can't walk away. <laughs> Keep finding one more. There we go. A lot of fill in there. That's great. Okay, that's everything we see coming across there. And yeah, you had a little bit more of a plug in the bottom of that. I could see it because it was bleeding a little. It's a deep plug there. Probably put a band-aid on that one because that was an inflammatory one just starting. Okay, we can come up here. All right, that's a perfect example of that acne mechanica that we talk about. And that's actually the first one we've had on our channel. Acne is very similar. A lot of people get acne, a lot of teenagers do, but sometimes when you see a predominance in one area like that, and it's mild down here, but pretty severe up here, you can see there's a mechanism, a mechanical mechanism of usually grinding dirt and oil into the pores, causing an exorbitant amount of blackheads more than you would normally have most likely. So just staying on top of it, everything we talked about earlier, we're gonna keep going. And thanks to him for sharing. That's a really good case you can kind of see as we, he progresses through these uh, extractions. Thanks for popping by.